Welcome to the introductory video in this series designed to provide instruction to users of the GREET model. My name is Keith Cronin. I, along with Dane McFarlane, have assisted the GREET development team with development and testing of programming features for GREET since 2010. Now with that, let's get started. GREET stands for Greenhouse Gases, Regulated Emissions, and Energy Use in Transportation. This model was first released by Argonne National Laboratory in 1996 and has been supported by the U.S. Department of Energy. GREET includes more than 100 fuel production pathways from various energy feedstocks, allowing users to analyze traditional fuel systems as well as renewable and developmental fuel systems using the model's own data resources or customizing data inputs for user-specific fuel pathways. Because GREET is a life cycle assessment model, it would be helpful to review some basic aspects of life cycle assessment, or LCA. The International Organization for Standardization describes LCA as the compilation and evaluation of the inputs, outputs, and the potential environmental impacts of a product system throughout its life cycle. It further states that LCA addresses the environmental aspects and potential environmental impacts throughout a product's life cycle from raw material acquisition through production, use, end-of-life treatment, recycling, and final disposal, i.e. cradle to grave. To conduct an LCA, a product is selected and a system boundary is established to define what processes should be included in the product system. Inputs and outputs are product, material, or energy flows into and out of the system. And processes are activities within the system that transform inputs into outputs. To quantify the environmental impacts of a product, a functional unit is defined, such as 1 million BTUs, or 1 ton, so that an output such as CO2 can be quantified in terms of grams of CO2 per 1 million BTUs, or per 1 ton of the product. These are a few of the basic terms used in LCA. It might be helpful to review ISO 14040 for more principles of LCA. We can examine these aspects of LCA through an example of conventional gasoline. In this case, gasoline is the product, and the system boundary might include the processes of exploration and recovery, transportation of crude, petroleum refining, transport and distribution, and finally combustion. For each process in the system, there are material and energy inputs which transform intermediate products until the final process of combustion ultimately transforms crude oil into tailpipe emissions. We might decide to quantify the total CO2 emissions from each process in the system resulting from a functional unit of 1 million BTUs of gasoline produced within the system. Other aspects of LCA will be explored later in this video series as we explore the use of GREET. GREET originally began development as an Excel spreadsheet. Now, a new point-and-click graphic user interface version of GREET has been released, known as GREET.net. For an introduction to the original GREET Excel spreadsheet, click the link below at the left. For an introduction to the new GREET.net, click the link on the right. To see more tutorial videos on the GREET model, Check our channel page for a complete list.